Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It is the man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we've got Kevin Byard gameplay. Yes, back to back gameplay video or back to back days with gameplay videos. Yes, we've got back to back uh, days with gameplay videos. So I'm recording this the same day that the. Um, I'm recording this the same day that we did the Corey Davis gameplay. Uh, I went ahead and threw him back at wide receiver five. Um, it's, he's just not really a good card, guys. Um, I think AJ Brown's better. Tyrone Calico's better. Andre Johnson's better. I, I even think Drew Bennett's better. Uh, when I put you know Drew Bennett on some short routes and stuff like that. Um, but I do have him returning kicks, so we'll, we'll see that a little bit today. Uh, but offense still the same. Uh, as you guys can see at the, I'll back out here again. With this Kevin Byard upgrade, we are at 94 overall on the defensive side of the ball. So that is pretty insane to be a, a straight, you know, all Tennessee Titan theme team. Uh, so that is pretty awesome there. So this Kevin Byard, he's 96 overall. Before I go into this car, let me back out here. Uh, with his upgrade, we now get locked on at 46. So we get that 45 out of 50 upgrade, which he, he before he only got times one. Uh, lockdown now gets times two, and we were at 44. Uh, so now with that times three, that's going to be a plus two from the one. Now we're at 46. And what that does for the defense, as you can see, Avery Williamson, he was a 94. Now he's come up to a 95. Jayon Brown, he was a 90, uh, and now he is a 91. Uh, and then I think that's it. Um, yeah, just those two cards. You got Avery Williamson and Jayon Brown, uh, both plus one to their card. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and look at this Kevin Byer card. This card looks really good uh, after all the chemistries and stuff on him. He's got 94 speed, very nice, 94 acceleration, 90 tackling. He's got 98 play recognition. Uh, he's got 91 pursuit, 87 man. It's okay, 98 zone coverage. Now, that, you know, I want that to be, uh, I wish they would have gave him one more to his zone when uh, off his stock card, just so that could be at 99. Um, but it is what it is, because I really, in between 90 and 99, it's really, you know, pretty much plays the same. Once you hit 99, you, you play a lot more, you know, to the elite tier type uh, zone coverage. Uh, you know, it, you play a lot more, uh, a lot better when you hit that 99 threshold. Uh, Versus like 98 and 97, 96. Um, and then also, um, really, 91 to 98 it really feels the same. Uh, once you hit that 90, um, or I should say 90 to 98, they all feel the same. Uh, but if you're below uh, 80 or below 90, um, you can feel a little bit of a difference there. Um, and then once you hit 99, you can feel a big difference. Unfortunately, we are at the very, very the closest uh, thing to 99 you can get on zone, but. Uh, he will not be able to hit that. So he's got 98 zone, which, I mean, it's still 98 zone, but uh, if this game wasn't built around thresholds, that would be really good. Uh, but honestly, that 98 zone is going to play like a 90 zone. Uh, so moving on here, he's got 89 agility, 94 speed. We already went over that. 95 awareness. Uh, now, um, 84 catching is solid. Change of direction, 87. Um, I'm still going to use your Sam Mills, so we'll... Once we get, if we get, you know, some depth at our safety positions, I might move, you know, some people around to sub linebacker. Uh, but we only have two really good safeties with Kenny Vaccaro and Kevin Byer, which is kind of funny because they're both our team standouts uh, for this year. Uh, it's interesting they chose Kevin Byer too because he hadn't had, a, you know, the best year. He, he didn't have a pick all year. Um, but I guess they just saw we needed a, a Kevin Byer upgrade and they gave it to us. So, um,. You know, I would have liked someone, and it also helps me out. I didn't have to go buy, you know, a power up that's going for like I don't know how much they're going for, like 100, 200k power up. So that also helped me out there, saving coins a little bit. Um, and I used his, uh, I used my 92 overall power up pass, and I just went and bought a clowning for like 80k. Uh, that way, I could get him as fast as possible. Uh, so yeah, he's got a power up pass on him. Uh, so yeah, that's good. Also, Sam Mills is a 98. I think he, he was a 98 before. Um, so yeah, really, that's pretty much it. Now, this is this video is being recorded before the LTDs come out. If we can get a Desmond, listen, if if it's a cornerback that comes out, like there's a 50% chance that it's going to be us. Because I went and looked at Mutthead, 
there's only about five, six cornerbacks that are really low overall uh, that have a power up, and you know they haven't had an upgrade. You know, Desmond King's one of them. You got Adore Jackson, which I don't think he get the upgrade, but you know, it's it's a slight possibility. Uh, possibility. Uh, I don't think he get the card. Um, but then you also had Jason McCourty. So those are three of the five or six that I saw that still have yet to have like a big time upgrade. So that would be pretty awesome to see a cornerback. And we haven't had a cornerback in about three weeks. The last one we had was Shaquille Griffin um, uh, from the Seahawks there. Uh, and some of you guys were asking about the chemistry there. I went over uh, having lockdown at 46, but there's the other chemistries as well um, there. Once we get one more. Uh, for play fake, I'll go ahead and take out uh, Jack Conklin. Uh, that way we can, you know, we won't have to have him for that 50 out of 50 play fake. We'll take him out. Um, so, yeah, that's really going to do it for the quick little line. Of, oh, yeah, we also have Corey Davis here returning kicks instead of Tyron Calico. Uh, that way Tyron Calico won't be, you know, tired when we have him, uh, you know, trying to throw bombs over the top uh, of the defense to him. So that's, all, that's good also. So Corey Davis is going to be our return man. Um, I really wish we could get a Khalif Raymond. Uh, kind of, uh, you know, low low tier, like 80, 81 overall upgrade. I was hoping he'd get like a scary fast card for uh, the, the most feared promo, but that wasn't the case. That way we could put him at return man. He'd probably have like 97 speed on the theme team, uh, which would be pretty sick. Uh, but with that being said, that is going to do it for the, the quick little lineup update there. Let's go ahead and hop into the game. All right, guys, loading into this game. There's my top three, Samuel, Steve McNair, and Harold Landry still in the top three. Uh, and there's his team. Not bad at all. Uh, you got, you know, both the Cromarty uh, brothers or cousins. I don't know what they are. I know they're related. I'm not sure if they're brothers or cousins. But, yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and rec uh, re record this uh, return because, you know, it's Corey Davis' first time at return, man. So we'll have to see how that goes. All right, guys, coming out in the five-wide look. Uh, we're actually going to just block Jared Cook here. Uh, if he's having that single high safety, Calico does not have a ha, have his man beat. But Andre Johnson has a man beat. He's juking. And there he goes down the sideline. What stick work. Go, Andre. Get to the end zone. Oh, no. All the way down to the two. What a start. Andre with a quick little hesitation. And, man, that was beautiful there. That footwork by Andre. Now, I can't. I don't know why I came back out. I'm just going to try and uh, scramble around. Maybe try and hit... Uh, maybe Bennett's open. Oh, AJ isn't... Just got to look fast here. No one's open. No one's open. We're just going to scramble in. McNair, get in there. All right, quick little touchdown there. Great play by Andre Johnson. That's all. That's similar to the, you know, the bro broken tackle we had last gameplay video with Sam Mills. That was pretty sick. Uh, Andre, that would have been a lot There we go, go ahead and knock that through That would have been a lot cooler if he got in the end zone But what a play by Andre Johnson Alright guys, here we are on defense Let's see how Kevin Byard plays uh, See if he can get a pick or so in this game Do not, alright, alright Okay, Be able to knock that one free I believe that was Finnegan and Kenny Vaccaro there on the coverage So, uh, no Kevin Byard just yet Now he should be playing the middle Or... Normally he's playing the middle of the field, I think, uh, but that doesn't look like the case here. Send some pressure. Go Clowney. He's going to slide down. I should have had Clowney rushing. I'm not sure what I was thinking there. Uh, we got to make sure we flip the play uh, coming out there if Clowney's in coverage, and he's not this time. So we have KB in the middle of the field. I'm actually going to try and use her with him, see how he feels. It's going to be a little play action. Uh I'm trying to bait him to throw that, and he's going to hit this sideline route with Kittle. Yikes. I, I think I sent that guy that was in the zone. I think it was Harold Landry that I sent. Uh, you know, I got I to gotta be a little bit more smart. Yeah, there. Yeah, I, I sent him there at the end. I, I, I'm, I really I just have a bad habit of sending someone at the very tail end just to try and just like that right there. But Sam Mills is there to make the play. Can Sam Mills go back? Another pick six. Oh, I tried to cut it to the inside. I think I could have had it to the outside, but that time when we sent someone, it kind of worked because I just kind of uh, went straight down to uh, the open target there who was... Is that Mo Ali Cox? Does he have a... No, I don't think he has a Colts team. Does he have a Colts team? We'll go back to the five wide. Calico, does he have a step? I think he does. 
And that's DRC. He's burning over the top. Oh, we're going to get tackled at the six again. McNair, two for two, 126 yards. That is fantastic. Now, let's get it on the ground. Let's try and go outside zone with uh, a stretch play to, to Barry. To see if we can get him going to the outside. He's going to pinch his line. We'll take that. AJ, I'm going to motion you out here to go ahead and pick that cornerback up. Uh, and see if we can get Janu in motion as well. Try and get to the edge. I don't think I can't motion him. So hopefully he'll just get to the edge himself. And Barry gets to the three. That's okay. All right. This is Derek Henry territory. I don't care if he's stacking the box. We're still going to run this thing with Derek. We got Bruiser activated on him. So let's see what he can do here. Um, he's going to fall forward. Wow. He's able to reach across the goal line and score. And that's going to be a quick quit on my opponents in McNair what was he two for two 126 yards wow what a game we'll go ahead and hop into the next one though all right looks like we're gonna be in a home game here with Brett Farr Chad Johnson and Ronnie Lott as our opponents there's our top three with Sam Mills Steve McNair and Harold Landry in there we'll go ahead and keep recording this if we are returning it and because I want to you know feature Corey Davis and we are kicking it off so We'll be right back on defense here. All right, guys. Look, he's going to come out in the I formation, which is interesting. And he's going to start off with a handoff here. Uh, and, oh, my God, that stick play by Finnegan there was not not the not the nicest, I, I should say. Uh, <laughs> he's going to come out in this in the same look again. Let's go ahead and hard flat. Actually, he's going to pass the ball here. And I'm using him with the wrong guy. And that's going to be an absolute bomb over the top. Can Finnegan catch him? No, he can't. That's going to be a touchdown. That was bad. If I had Sam Mills there, I think I could have got there. But, you know, usually when Avery Williamson, that's probably not the best matchup you want there. Uh, Chad Johnson and, and, and he ran a cover three beater. Uh, and, and, you know, guys are going to do that to me. I like to run uh, cover three a lot. So, got to expect that to happen at some point. Uh, and, and here's one point. Uh, so he goes up 7 nothing here. We've got Corey Davis back there returning kicks for us, so I'll keep it recording here. He's actually going to pooch kick it to Janu Smith here, see if Smith can get something going. Janu down to the 30. Yep, to the 30-yard line. So see what we can come out here on offense. We're going to start out on what? Oh, God. I'm not even moving my joystick there, but we'll go ahead and start out uh, with 5 wide here. We're going to try and hit Calico or uh, Andre, see if he can make something happen like he did last game there with that big catch and run uh, for what was that like 70 yards or so that was pretty insane um, but yeah y'all let me know what cards y'all would like to see upgraded I would love to see a Johnny Smith like a Christmas card uh, a zero chill card for him uh, you know I was watching the, some of the director's videos I'm not sure if you guys watch him but he was doing some uh, you know card art um, you know what let's actually street cook here he was doing some card art concepts um, alright we'll, we'll take Derek Henry there Derek gains, what, 7, 8 there, or 6, we'll take it. Uh, but he was doing some card art uh, concepts, and Johnny was one of them, and I would love to see him get a card, because I think him and Darren Waller, uh, obviously Darren Waller is a much, um, I shouldn't say much better, but he's more targeted than uh, Johnny Smith. Um, you know, but he's, he, him and Johnny Smith, um, Darren Waller and Johnny Smith are two guys that, uh, let's see if we can angle this out to Calico. Oh, I think I could have. We're going to actually just take what we can with uh, McNair. McNair gets loose a little bit, and I tried to slide, but could not. To the 41, we'll take it. One rush for 23 yards for Steve McNair. He's a little tired, so we'll, we'll try. We'll go ahead and hand it off to Barry here with a little outside zone. But, yeah, Johnny Smith and Darren Waller, uh, two similar type tight ends, uh, but, you know, mutt-wise, they are very similar. Like, if Johnny Smith gets a, um, you know, a 92 overall just like, uh, Darren Waller has, or I think Darren Waller had 91, but it's powered up uh, to 92, and I think he just got that team of the week, so it's 93. So, like I said, if if, if Johnny Smith gets like a 92 overall card, they'll, they'll look very similar, and especially I would love to have him on the theme team as we get nothing going there with Barry. Um, you know, on the theme team, Johnny Smith could be very, very nice because I love to throw that little... Uh, let's try a screenplay, actually. I love to throw that little... Um, I like to streak my tight ends a little bit, as you guys... Uh, you know, you, you got to see sometimes. So I would love to get a Johnny Smith upgrade. That would be very nice. Um, another guy uh, I would love. You know, I hate that Jayon Brown went down with that injury. 
uh, just because I think he could have had, um, you know, if he got a few upgrades later down the road, which I don't think he is now since he's injured. Uh, if he had gotten, if he hadn't got injured, and, and we could see a couple of upgrades for him, um, and they could have been really, really glitchy. Like his card now is Barry gets good yards, and I juke and I step out of bounds. Dang. Uh, but, you know, Jayon Brown's card right now, he's got an 88 overall card, uh, and he's got 90 speed on that card on the theme team. So imagine if he got like a 94, 95 overall card. Um, it would be pretty glitchy. Uh, and I would love to use him, but, you know, Avery Williamson, uh, much better tackling uh, on him. Uh, but zone-wise, you know, zone coverage, Jayon Brown is way better. So let's see what we can get here. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. He's going to have a spy. And we're, he's going to send pressure. Andre after the catch again. What a play by Steve McNair. He sent the house at the very end. And Andre was able to get free on the sideline there. Let's see if we can go ahead and tie this up with Greg Joseph. He sent those last three players. We were able to dump it off to Andre. We'll definitely take that all day. That should be good. Uh, yeah, and that's perfect. Right down the middle. 7-7. Seven to seven. We'll take it. All right, we're coming back out. We're going to stay in the cover three. I'm actually going to just take it uh, away, that cover three beater that he runs with Sam Mills, and hope that nothing over the middle gets open. Hopefully with Avery sitting in that middle type zone right there, he's able to take it away. Um, and shoot, that should be a pick, Finnegan. That's okay. I mean, he has abilities, and we don't have abilities on our corners, so I'm fine with a little break up there. He's looking for the seam, and I can probably take that away. He's got two seam routes. He's got one with his tight end there. And another one with, I'm not sure if that was DK Metcalf or Chad Johnson on that play. Um, but we've got everything locked up there. Um, and Julio breaks a tackle and he goes backwards. So that actually works out in our favor. Uh, and, you know, turned from it turned from a what, gain of six, seven, eight yards there to a gain of four. So we'll definitely take that. Uh, let's go. Let's just change it up. Let's go. Uh, we went cover two. KB, if you get that, that's a pick six. We changed it. We went to a cover two right at the last second there because I knew he was going to drop something for cover three. So I wonder what he's going to do here. He's going to go for it, so not surprising at all. Um, but we're definitely not going to give up anything to the sideline. Look for that route, and I was I was so scared that he was going to go with something deep. I kind of was really soft on that, you know, Texas route there. Um uh, and please don't tell me I'm about to lag out of this game. My network has been so bad the last few days, but maybe we're still in it. Maybe not. I don't know. Man, this was this was gonna be a good game too. I can't believe it. Dang, man. That's tough. That's really tough. I think that's it's about to lag me out here. Yeah. So that's really tough. But yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's tough. So, I don't want this video to get stretched out too much, but we'll go ahead and hop into the next video or next the next game. All right, guys, hopping into the third game of the video. We did go ahead and take that L last game, but our top three stays the same. He has Josh Allen, DRC, and Entrell Roll. So, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, we're going to go ahead and re uh, record the kickoff. Why not? We got the new Corey Davis back there returning kicks. So, you know, why not? We put it back there. Uh, let's take this one out. Let's see what we can do with it. Um, see if we can get something going to the outside. Jukes in. Breaks a tackle. Oh, I thought he was going to break that tackle. That was, that was Lawrence Taylor. So that, that might have been a little, a little bit on the tougher side of breaking a Lawrence, Lawrence Taylor's tackles uh, there. But let's go to our five wide, our go-to formation here. Now, I'm going to block Hook. Looks like he might be in a cover three look. If he is, this should be a touchdown if he doesn't take it away. And that's going to be, oh, my God. Why do I lob that? That's going to be a, oh, no, he didn't even catch it. Why do I lob that? I got to throw the bullet there. If he stays in the cover three, we should have it. But I should have had a touchdown there. I don't know why. I just have that habit of lobbing the ball when someone gets open. Man, I got to I gotta do something about that, but. That's a, that we should be up six nothing and kicking a field uh, kicking an extra point right now, but uh, and now he looks like he's gonna be in that same look again. He's probably gonna try and take it away. Let's see. Oh my god, he just gave it up back to back times. That time we're gonna hit Tyrone Calico and we're gonna get six this time. You you just saw me get so open. Why would you run the same play? 
I just don't know what you were thinking. So now we're in the end zone. Now we're kicking our extra point, and that's going to be a seven nothing lead to start the game here. And he's going to rough my. Uh, he's going to rough Greg Joseph there, but. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll accept the penalty. We'll, we'll we'll kick it off a little closer here. Uh, we'll try a little pooch kick here with Kern, actually. Let's just... Uh, we got wind in our face, so we'll just kick it normal. See if we can... Oh, no, 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 no. Not squib it. We don't want to squib it. Uh, we'll kick it, uh, you know, max power. See if we can... Uh, I don't think this is going to be pinned deep. He might... Oh, this is a perfect kick, actually. Get our special teams down there and make a play. Nick Beasley, someone make a play. We hit him at the 20. That's okay. All right, guys, I got the Elgato cleared up. Uh, you guys didn't see that defensive possession, uh, really. Golden Tate literally just burnt Aeneas Williams on the uh, left side of our cover three. It wasn't anything pretty to see, but we're back out on offense. Let's actually just keep Cook on that streak. See if we can get something going here. Uh, Donald. Oh, my God. I literally could have I, I ran. I could have ran with McNair. Um, I, I, I said... <laughs> I had to clear some stuff in my Elgato, so I had to call, or I didn't have to call timeout, but I took two delay games trying to clear it up. So we are right back out here, coming back out the five wide look. Um, can I double team? I can. So let's see if we can uh, even shift a uh, slide left, slide our line to the left. Uh, see if we can put Cook on that street, kind of clear it out, clear out the middle there. Um, hey, Andre Johnson there again. Oh, reliable Andre Johnson hits another juke, and you talk about oh my God, we got just a little bit more, and and, and Andre Johnson after I need to put a playmaker there that you know I have evasive or or, or, or catch it uh, or what's it called a uh, grab and go because uh, I can do some some sticky stuff right there uh, if I could uh, you know looks like Bennett's gonna be in there now so oh looks like he's gonna be in that cover three and we're just gonna oh can we get are we gonna get that? Calico, make a catch, man. I'm lobbing it up there. I thought we had... I, I really did think we have a step on, on him. Um, he's going to be coming back out in the cover two look. Now, Andre's back in the game. And Derrick Henry's going to be wide open there. Trucked him. And Derrick Henry's going to gain eight, seven. We'll take it. Three for six for McNair right now. We're going to stay in this five wide look. He's got nothing that he can do to stop it. We've got two drag routes on the play and a fade route. Which is really money. And we still got the Johnu Smith route here. Um, we could still look for it. Um, and that almost was open. Throw on the run for McNair. Oh, we're going to get the catch. We're going to go no huddle. No, I try to go no huddle and I'm going to call a fake punt. No. No, we're not going to call a fake punt. We're going to run the... No, we're going to throw the ball. We're going to go back to our recent plays. We're going to run the same play we've been running all game. Because why not? It's been working. Uh, and I don't know if I had Andre there. He kind of switched up his play there at the very end. His his defensive backs were running across the field, so didn't really get a good a good read there off the snap. So looks like it's going to be. Let's go ahead and double team like we did that 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 the play go. Um, go ahead and double team and shit a uh, slide left uh, and see if we can hit someone. Someone should be open here if we get enough time. So Cook no Johnson. Get a little air under that one, and we got it. First down, a minute 40 to go. We'll take that all day. First and 10 here at the 24-yard line. Still in the first quarter. Um, we'll take it. We got a first down on that fourth and two. That was kind of big, so uh, still tied up here. It's first and 10. We're going to go back to the five wide. It hadn't been, uh, you know, he hadn't been able to stop it, so why not keep going? We're going to actually go ahead and slide left again and double team I believe that's Aaron Donald right there, uh, and it is, so. Oh, no, snap it. Okay, we got the snap off. Oh. Oh, no, I threw it right at him. I threw it right at Xavier McKinney. Derrick Henry makes the tackle. Dang, that was a terrible read. That was a terrible read. I mean, it wasn't a bad. It was open if I put a little air under it, uh, and, I, and I'm, I'm kicking myself for, you know, not throwing the bullet pass on the wide open Calico route, and I'm kicking myself for not putting a little air under the ball there. Um... And we have multiple Titans converged there. I think that's Sam Mills, Kenny Vicaro, and Cortland Finnegan converging there on the tackle. It's second and five. Can't be giving up uh, five yards a run. So, um, I mean, honestly, we can. If he does it like three times in a row, I'll adjust. But, you know, well, I don't know why it's taking so long to pick a play here. Ten on the clock. Um, may take a delay game here. And it looks like he's going to or he's going to call timeout. Uh, maybe a 
audible and some stuff, uh, changing his audibles or something. Uh, we'll, we'll take the penalty, though. So that's basically like he ran the ball for nothing there. So I don't know why Nick called timeout. Probably not going to use three timeouts in, you know, a quarter of Madden. So, um, and he's going to run the ball again, and Sam Mills is there to make the play. Don't – okay, there we go. Javon Curse doesn't let him fall forward. Gain of three. We'll take it. It's third and seven here. I'm going to use your Kevin Byard. He's probably going to try and run something here. That's going to beat cover three, and I'm going to stay in the middle. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so bad. I am so bad. I cannot use her a safety for my life. I can't. I just can't. Got to stay away from it. I just can't. I can't. <sighs> I, I can't do that. I, it's either I've got to have a sub linebacker in there for, for my safety. But, you know, I just let, got to let KB do what KB does. So, that's a tough one to give up there. But we're, we're fine. Uh, offensively, we've been driving down the field. I just made one bad read. Really, that's a 14-point flip there. We could have gotten the end zone. We could be at 14-7 instead. Uh, he gets a bomb over the middle. And really a blown coverage by me. And just like that, we're down seven. So, Corey Davis, we're going to take it out. Why not? Why not take it out with Corey Davis here? Big time hit by Lawrence Taylor there. With two seconds on the clock, a five wide. It hadn't been stopped, just, it hadn't been stopped yet, so why would we go away from it? Two seconds left. Let's see if we can get an end of the quarter bomb here. I doubt it. This dude's taking so long to pick a play. Um, might have to start cutting that out. So, look for Cook here. He's actually going to. We're going to slide left, pick that up. Um, we're going to ID this guy. Make sure we have him picked up. We should have that. And we do. Calico. That's going to be the bomb to end the quarter. I mean, this dude is terrible at defense. I mean, I just angle it to the outside. Bada bing, bada boom. That's a touchdown just like that. We we tie him right back up. Yeah, he was going to cover three there. I think I could have had him over the top, too. So, uh, see if we can go ahead and tie the game. We are. Greg Joseph is going to go ahead and knock that one on three. It's going to be tied up 14-14 into the first quarter. If you like offense, you should be liking this game. All right, guys. He's going to be coming right back out in the I-form look. And he's going to be throwing out of it. And he's going to try and hit us deep. And he, oh, that's KB. KB making a play on his 96 overall debut. That's what I like to see, finally. You know, I, <laughs> I try to feature him, uh, you know, but you can't really help if he doesn't get a pick or doesn't get a pick. So, uh, glad to see him get an interception there. Um, and now, still, the LTDs are yet to be revealed tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and say we get a Tannehill. It's, it, right now, it's 619 where I'm at. They get revealed around 7. Uh, if we get a Ryan Tannehill, I wouldn't mind it. It would be a 94 overall. He'd probably be going for a good bit of coins. Uh, but we haven't had a quarterback since Matthew Stafford, so and he was a 92. So wouldn't be surprised if we see like a Tannehill or something like that. Or something like that. Um, Derrick Henry, wide open. Lead it up. Get up, Phil. That's fine. We'll take seven yards there. 345 left. We're going to stick with it, guys. Why not? Um, since I haven't been hitting Cook, I'm just going to block him. Uh, and he's gonna, I could have passed led that out. We're gonna put some air underneath that one, and we're gonna get that same little animation we got on the fourth and two conversion we had earlier in the game. Uh, we're gonna stay, <laughs> stay in the five wide. He hadn't found a way to stop it, so why go away from it? I've said that about five times this video. I really don't care, because, I mean, he still has yet to stop it. Derrick Henry's gonna be open. Can we throw that on the run? Yes, we can. Can Derrick break a tackle? He can. He can get out of bounds at the 33. And we're going to look to go up seven here. Uh, going to try and manage the clock here. Leave him with as little as time as possible. Unless we get some type of deep play to Calico here. Uh, wouldn't mind that at all. And he's going to be absolutely... He left him open, so that was... a Yeah, I should have possession caught that. Uh, he changed his play at the very last second. 248 for McNair already in the game. If we can get 500 yards from McNair, that would be insane. But Calico here, he, he's actually just going to use her that. Over the middle, we have nothing. Oh, we had Andre Johnson. I was scared his user was going to come down and try and take that, uh, um, you know, drag right away. But clearly he didn't. We had him open, I think. Um, I think that was Leroy Glover there getting to me, yeah. So that that's not the best. It's third and 19 here. We could take, well, we couldn't take it down to the two-minute warning. Uh, one second difference there on the clock. Um, if he's going to, ooh, this is tough here. So let's go ahead. Let's ID. Uh, who we want. Oh, come on. Snap it, snap it, snap it, snap it, snap it. It's going to be man. Oh, no, no. That was open. That was so open. I was trying to hurry up. Fourth and 19, you know what? We're going for it. He was man. He, I think he came out in zone. He switched to man. 
Cornerback was nowhere close to Calico. I tried to snap it as fast as I can as I could. Um, well, we don't want to double team him. We want to double team this guy to the outside. Uh, I would think that's Aaron Donald. Street Cook, we had him open so he was open so much there. Uh, oh my god, that was why did I go for it? That was kind of stupid on my part, but it is what it is. Just trying to make a play there. Uh, see if KB can do something across the middle of the field. Again, he's going to try and run stretch, and we're blowing it up. Only gains two yards there. Uh, he's, he's averaging three yards a carry, so we'll definitely take that. Um, probably He's going to pass it here. Great break on the ball by Avery Williamson, but a little bit late. Uh, we can't give up a field goal here. <laughs> we should have just played it safe and punted the ball there. I was trying to do too much, and... Still nothing. We, nothing, nothing, nothing. Send a pressure. Why would he, Why would Harold Landry just jump over him? It's like he predicted that he was going to slide. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go and hit Josh Allen. Why not? I don't I don't know what Harold Landry, what kind of animation that was. Um, but you know what? Let's go to... Oh, we don't want to go, man. Let's go cover two. Can I get to cover two? I think I got to cover two. Ooh, I, I, I saw the, I, that middle of the field was coming open, so I had to drop back there and take it away. Uh, first and ten. He got the first down on that play. Really, that edge threat's nothing when... Took it away. Oh, my God. I don't know what he was trying to do there. Golden Tate, I guess, he was looking for. Uh, it almost looked like a screen there at the end. Hey, if I don't take that little streak away right there, that's a touchdown. Um... Harold Landry keeps him in bounds. He's going to have to use that timeout, but that's still a game of 12 or so. Uh, that one's tough. That's that's tough. Uh, he's going to come out shotgun. We're going to go to cover two. I, wanna, I just want to contain Josh Allen, actually. So let's contain him. <laughs> oh, wow. He's trying to roll out. Ain't going to happen with Clowney there, baby. That's big. Last timeout, actually. So that's really big. Second and 20. Second and 20 here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to just contain, spread our linebackers out, um, and look for anything across the middle. And Golden Tate's there, but he's got a no huddle. It's going to be interesting here. It's third and down. It's third down. He's going to, have to spike the ball. Interesting. He might fake the spike, though. He is. And he's going to get sacked. That's going to be the end of the half. Clowney with two big-time plays to end the half. Now, smart play was to just spike the ball there and not gamble. Uh, cause you have the chance of getting a sack and that, you know, that's, you know, tough play on our end when we had the ball, tough play on his end when he had the ball. So, but we'll take it 14, 14. Oh, we don't get the ball at half. I forgot. Well, we got to get a stop here. All right, guys coming out on the defense. He's in a single back. Look, that's going to be a play action. Everything across the middle is taken away. He's going to try and throw that. That's going to be Cortland Finnegan. Did he get touched? He didn't. Let's get up Cortland. Oh, we got to get up, Cortland. Come on. 231's out there is going to be interesting, but KB has that red sleeve, so we should be able to tell him apart. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've been able to tell him apart all, all year. So, uh, And I kind of just realized they both were 31, so um, he's going to back up. Interesting. Let's go ahead and double team. Donald over here. It's been working. Five wide. He hasn't been able to stop the five wide look. Um, oh, my God, it's wide open. Catch this one, Cook. All right, we'll take it. Big time play there. McNair, 290. Two touchdowns and a pick. Uh, and looks like he just quit the game. So that's going to be that's perfectly fine. We'll take it. We're going to get the dub there. That's going to do it for the video, guys. KB with a pick. You know, big time performance in his debut with his 96 overall. So we'll take it. That's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Until next time, I'll see y'all.